If you climb right to the top of a certain hill in Cape Breton Island, you will discover the lovely Margaery Valley. There it lies before you, peaceful, quiet. The most peaceful place in the world, you might think. But for two ten-year-old boys who live on farms in the valley, it is a place of excitement and adventure. One perfect summer afternoon, Duncan took his pony from the barn. Where are you going? asked his mother. Over to Grandpa's. All right, but don't be late for supper. Remember now. Grandpa's farm is less than a mile away, and Duncan visits often. Yet every time he crosses the stream, he begins to feel excited, just as if this were a new adventure. And each visit he makes is new in a way, because Grandpa's farm is a very special place, where a boy can find all kinds of exciting things to do. On the farm, there stands an old mill, over a hundred years old. In it, Grandpa makes many different things. Duncan says his grandpa can mend or make anything, chairs, furniture. He even cards wool on this machine. And he's a blacksmith, too. There he is, fixing a buggy wheel. He heats the metal rim in the fire, then fits it, still hot, to the wooden wheel. As it cools, the metal rim tightens around the wood. Grandpa likes getting Duncan to help. Finally, he puts the wheel in the stream to cool it off thoroughly. There, that's done. Now, Duncan, open the dam. This is the job Duncan loves most. First running along the stream to the dam, then racing the water back to the mill. It's a game he always plays with the stream and never wins. Next time, it'll be a race he must win. Duncan has always loved to watch the water rushing into the sluice. And ever since he can remember, his grandfather has warned him to be careful. A mill can be a dangerous place when the dam is open, particularly the penstock, as the water pours in deep, deep, till it boils and churns and turns the gears for Grandpa's lathe. Today, Grandpa's working on a chair, making one of the legs. Grandpa, whose name is Ernest Hart, 
has been making chairs for about 50 years, and they last many years longer than that without a nail or a dab of glue in them. Duncan likes to work in the shop too. He's making a boat. The trees of the valley supply the wood for grandpa's chairs. The posts are made from the birch tree. The slats in the back are made of beech. The rungs are rock maple. And the seat is woven from the black ash. Grandpa can't hear a thing, not without his hearing aid. Not a bad boat. Should sail well on the mill pond, just enough breeze. Grandpa Hart works with the love and skill of a craftsman. His chairs are made right, with everything fitting and interlocking, almost as if they grew that way. One of the skills he has learned through long experience is how to prepare the wood for the chair. The birch posts are kept damp, but the rock maple rungs are dried thoroughly. The dry rungs are driven into the damp posts. Then the post, as it dries out, shrinks and tightens around the rung. And the join is as firm as if the two parts were branches growing on a tree. Duncan's friend Bruce lives on the farm next to Grandpa's and often comes to play by the mill pond. Now the limb from the black ash soaking under the sluice is ready. Expertly, Grandpa pounds it. Not too hard, not too light, just enough to separate the wood on the grain without bruising it. The strands of black ash are called splinters and will be used for weaving the seat of the chair.
the splinters are wet when they are woven. The Indians use black ash to weave baskets and many other things, preparing the wood in just the same way as Grandpa Hart. Another chair is almost finished, made from the trees and the stream and the skill of a man in the Marguerite Valley. And if it's treated with the care it deserves, the chair will be firm and strong a hundred years from now. Grandpa's going for his afternoon tea. A good time to look around the mill. The things you can find in there. Duncan and Bruce find the mill a real treasure house, full of odd and unexpected things. Where else could they find skates as old as these? But the mill itself and how it works is the most interesting thing of all. This is the penstock that fills up with water when the dam is opened. How deep? Too deep. Dare you, Duncan. No, it's too dangerous. Grandpa says, never go down the penstock. In the excitement at being explorers, Grandpa's warnings are forgotten. Time to get busy in the mill again.
on, Duncan, hurry. He's gone to open the dam. Grandpa doesn't say much. He doesn't have to. The boys know he's very angry. Bruce is sent home to change. And Grandpa makes sure Duncan won't ever forget his warning again. wasn't Duncan home for supper? Grandpa tells Duncan's mother they've been so busy he didn't realize how late it was. He won't let it happen again. Tomorrow, perhaps, Duncan will ride his pony again. Tonight, it's better to walk home through the quiet, peaceful valley.